going on YouTube welcome back to the channel and um, today video I would like to share with you guys how I converted from my goofy headlight uh, for 2011 to a later model 2012 and up I would like to share with you guys this setup because it's worth the money I think and um, if you try to do it yourself then um, it's gonna save you a lot of money and it's a must-have upgrade guys come out really nice and it's gonna change the whole look for the front end of the bike I will share with you guys all the uh, link uh, for all the park and uh, hardware that I need for this project and uh, stay tuned. In my opinion, this goofy headlight setup shouldn't go with the bike. The model from 2012 and up go with the better setup which is um, come out really nice. But this one like an old classic uh, without the cover. This may be the original but uh, mixing the cover right there so it look really ugly to me. Like the later model headlight. Um, it's got a low profile and closer to the fork and it's make the front end look a lot more badass so what I got here is the uh, bracket from eBay this is China make the two hole in the middle right here gonna go right there with the original hole seeing it doesn't have the hole on the side this bracket go with that hole right it's gonna look something like this and that top cover gonna mount right here but first we're gonna disconnect the connector from the headlight which is this wire right here we will have some conversion wiring harness for the new headlight you're gonna need a six millimeter allen wrench key to untie this two bolts The whole thing gonna come off. Seeing the light attack to the bracket. For the this bracket, this conversion bracket, I wasn't sure that this bracket gonna fit pretty well on this pocket, but um, look like it's doing really good. Look like it's gonna be fit really nice in here. They have a little uh, spacing over here, and they make the radius for both sides look really good over here. So it's gonna fit in no problems. Now we got the bracket already installed, and we ready for light and cover to go in. I also ordered this conversion connector from eBay um, I believe this is from Harley Davidson it's used but in good condition I hope it do the job so this four pin connector right here just like the other old one that we took out this connector is gonna go back into here just like that and the two right here will go with the including wiring harness provided from the headlight kit that you buy. Here we go and this light is the one I'm talking about. It's the have a uh, low profile. It's look a lot better than the uh, old one. And it's also come with the connector over there. And I think that connector's gonna go to the one that I ordered from eBay. This cover here also I ordered from the same website AliExpress. Okay, so now we have it ready. Uh, I'm not gonna tie it right now. Just gonna put it on there and maybe adjust a little bit and then tie it up both sides. The two bolt right here, I guess it's gonna be the MA bolt. These include in this bracket right here. So we, we use the two OEM bolts for the middle one and the other two. They have a uh, additional bolt go with the package. So we can use this. It's long enough to me. So it stick out about this much. You can see here, that's good enough. It's come out awesome and it fit pretty good. I'm pretty happy with whatever I ordered. Um, I ordered from Safe Break Sellers. I'm pretty happy with the deals. 
with the front end right now, you cannot tell it's uh, from uh, later models or um, the earlier model. You have an option to use the extension right here come with the kit just make sure uh, the light color is matching so you're not gonna blow up the fuse so if you uh, blow up a fuse in the back here it's gonna be right here light fuel 15 amps this one in the middle here and um, you have to replace another one so we don't want to uh, blow too many fuse the black gonna go with the black on the connector from the light and after you plug in correctly you just need to try to switch it back and forth to see which one is high beam and which one is low beam so that is the low beams and the low beam is 4t in the bottom here pretty nice this is gonna be the high beam be three ball slide right there on top okay guys so that's gonna be all for the video today thanks to those of you ready to subscribe to my channel and if you guys are first time here and you like my videos and my content subscribe for my channel that's gonna give me um, more motivation to upload more video about the v-rod and some other diy projects thank you guys for watching and see you all next time